Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Hoopers Only TV, webweeklylive.com. Jim, the weather outside may be frightful, but inside Central Columbia High School, the atmosphere is surely delightful. Jim, it's a big game type of feeling. The 8-1 and one Central Columbia Blue Jays taking on the undefeated Loyal Sock Lancers. Definitely. Blue Jay Lane was definitely snow covered when I got here, so getting back here, we, a lot of snow. But that's a wonderful thing. Where else would you rather be? Nowhere, right here, standing here, next to the birdcage over there. But last <laughs> time these two teams met, 59-57, Loyal Sock held on in the semifinals of the district last year. They had a big lead. They held on. They beat this team three times. So you know that's in the back of the mind of the Blue Jays. Tonight, let's talk about Loyal Sock. Last, last game on Saturday, a 58-54 win over a very tough Danville team. Well, great game. Came right down to the end. The Lancers... Uh, Luckily, Danville missed a couple shots or the game could have went the other way. So they hold on to being undefeated coming in here tonight. What else would you want? Absolutely. Well, in that game, Aiden Gare, the sharpshooter, was held to five points in the first half. He finished up the night with 24 points. He's averaging right about that for the season, 22.3, and he has 26 trays, Jim, on the year. Well, you know my nickname for him, the assassin. And, and it, he's a linebacker, plays outside, plays inside can just flat out shoot the basketball. Well, I'll tell you what, an MVP for that game the other night was Junior, 5'8", number 15, Adris Ali, 17 points. When things weren't going right for the Lancers, they turned to Ali, and he hit big shot after big shot after big shot. And the brothers Ali, Adris, the, the point guard, running the show, made his foul shots. Key to, key to, the, key to the game was get him getting to the basket against Danville. It looked for more of the same tonight. Uh, um, we, we saw Central against... Montoursville, they have quality guard play, and Idris is going to be pivotal to the Lancers winning tonight. Absolutely. Loyal Sock averaging 77 points a game. We said it yesterday. We're saying it again today. Free throws, free throws, free throws. Loyal Sock shooting just 52% for the year as a team. Name of the game, and I'm, I'm going to have CI on here a little bit. We'll talk to him about free throw shooting. How's that? That sounds good. But let's talk a little bit about the Blue Jays here. They come in. They won six in a row. Last game, they beat Warrior Run 48-43, a very tough game where they trailed most of the game. They had a big third quarter and held on in the fourth quarter for a 48-43 win over a very tough Warrior Run team. Warrior Run's got a great group of athletes right now. Had a great football season. It's carried over. And that's not indicative of Central playing bad. Warrior Run's a hard-nosed team this year. Well, you talk about Junior on the team. He can do it all, number 21. There was a play on Broadway, Annie, get your gun. They used to say, anything you can do, I can do better. Aiden Garrett got 26. Dylan Harris has 23 three-pointers. So there you go. Anything you can do, I can do better. Let's and see if they go shot for shot tonight. He got off to a slow start when we saw him against Mentorsville. I don't expect that here at home. He likes to shoot the ball here at home. It's a great shooter's gym. And I, I, I think he'll have a good ball game. Fantastic athlete, averaging 16 a game. How about super sophomore Patrick Yost? Stand, well, stand six four, Jim. I, I love the way he plays and gets up and down. He came over here to Central Columbia. Definitely a positive effect on the team and make, makes him a real contender here for a district championship. Absolutely. He's averaging 14.7 points a game. Also junior, the quarterback of the football team, six foot five, Garrett McNellis. We were very impressed with him against Montoursville. He comes in averaging 7.7 .7 points a game. You said it, Jim, solid guard play. Xander Bradley, Dylan Harris. The, the, the names go on and on. This is a very deep Central Columbia Blue Jay team. Because we want you all to be better athletes. That's why you're here. It's coming. All right, welcome everyone to Central Columbia. We had a little technical difficulties. We're going to have our CI interview on the archived edition over at webweeklylive.com. Paul Bo, Jim Webb, thanks for spending your Tuesday night, Jim. Big game atmosphere and the opening tip is like the weather, unpredictable there. <laughs> Absolutely, we'll get to see the tip here again. I like Siraj's chances here in the tip. If we Sir, get a good toss. Siraj and Patrick Well, Yost. I don't know if that was a good toss, so. Back to Dylan Harris. Harris over to Yost. Yost trying to drive baseline, being guarded by Siraj. Blocked by Siraj. Good defense. Up ahead to Aiden Gare. Gare comes over the timeline. Three ball on the way. Bang. Counting. Aiden Eight. Gare. We talked about that, Jim, in the pregame. 27 of them for the year. Central Columbia want to run the offense. Look for three, four passes every possession. Harris to answer, gets the shooter's roll. Nice shot by Harris, good shooter's touch. 
Harris leading scorer for the Blue Jays, averaging 16 a game. Back out to Rivers, Parrish. Right-handed dribble into the corner. Kicks it back to Aiden. Over to Reese Watkins. Watkins looking to drive. The tested shot in the lane follows his shot, and they're going to get a foul on Reese. I thought Reese got fouled when he went up the first time. He did the yeoman's work, got his rebound, put it back up. I don't. They're going to call I, a push I don't, on that. I didn't even see what they called. Did you see the call? Push. A okay. push in the back. Push in the back by Reese. Lancers in the traditional press looking to create a trap or a long half cross-court pass. Morrison with the ball. Yo sets the screen for Bradley. Bradley back to Harris, being guarded by Ali. Screen by Yost. Caught him in midair. Jumper from the foul line. Patrick Yost. Too easy. Yost is too good of a ball player. They need to contest that shot. Patrick Yost, 6'4", sophomore. For this Blue Jays team. I like Central Columbia's home whites, don't you, Paul? And they look good. They're sharp. Kicks it back to the corner and off the hands of Reese Watkins. And a turnover there for the, the Lancers. 4-3, 6.30 to go in the first quarter. Blue Jays lead. Up ahead to Harris, back to Morrison across the timeline. Blue Jays going from right to left on your screen. Gonna get a foul out here on wow. Ali. That's a tic-tac foul, let him play. Jim, I'm having visions of that Danville game about a year ago with quick, two quick tic-tac fouls there. And Morrison will inbound on the side. Almost a steal by Gare. Over to McNellis. Back to Bradley. Cutter in the lane is Harris swatted Good away by Good defense by Aiden ahead to Reese. Oh, Reese runs it down, loses control. Rivers Parrish kicks it back to Ali. Loyal saw kind of out of sorts. Long three on the way by Ali. Aiden stepped on the line there. Good job by Aiden getting up the rebound on the baseline, just a little bit too tight. And Jim, now we're two minutes into the game here. What are you seeing so far? Eh, typical Loyal Sox, slow start. <laughs> we're, we've seen this before. Nice Bradley pass. Dishes at the doorstep. Siraj Ali. gets up, just sandwiches him to the backboard. We go the other way, Adris. Back to Siraj running the court. Great play, end-to-end -end basketball by Siraj Ali. Great assist to his brother. And that's block number 16 on the season for Siraj. Yost spinning around. Back to Morrison. Morrison drives to the hole. Up and in, Eli Morrison. Good drive. Good drive to the basket. Right hand was the way to go on that one. Usually you want to shoot left handed, but he shielded the defender and got it up. Over left wing to Adris. Back to Rivers Parrish. Parrish thought about the three, kicks it back. Two Watkins in the corner, pulls the trigger from long range, off the back of the iron, good hustle by Parrish. Ali comes down with it, over to Gare. Gare drives, finger roll in the lane, no good. Tipped around and knocked out. Oh boy. It's gonna be off the hands of Aiden Gare, Jim. Good second effort by the Lancers, great hustle. Two bodies hit the floor, just didn't put it in the hoop. I tell you what, you can hear this crowd they are into this game from the start. 6-5 Blue Jays lead. Up ahead to Morrison. Back over to Bradley. Bradley swings it to Harris. Harris pump fake, gets him in the air. Three ball on the way is short. Rebounded by McNellis under the boards, too far under. Here come the Lancers. Three on two break. Up ahead to Watkins, lays it up and in. Great run out by the Lancers, nice pass. Watkins finishes. And we talked so much about that, Jim, about Lancer Lightning. And it's taken over right now. 7-6, Lancers lead by a point. Patrick Yost running, looking at a nice move, can't get it to fall. Good defense going across the rain by Siraj. Aiden cleans it up. All the way to the basket, left hand, good. Oh, you can't stop Aiden Garrett on down low like that. Too strong. Bradley with the ball, swings it up to Harris. Harris trying to go baseline, Garrett right there. Swings it cross court, almost picked off by Bradley. Drives to the lane, no good, rolls around the rim and out, and Aiden Gare holds another rebound. Gare with the ball, goes all the way again. to the basket. Nice job. Again, from the Central Columbia standpoint, somebody's got to step in and help on that. Yo sort of faded away and tried to block it. He's got a big body, step in there and take the charge. So that's there all night. 
Up ahead, down low to McNellis on the block. Siraj with good hands gets the steal. Five point Lancer lead, they're on a run here. 6-0 run by Loyal Sock. Parrish with the ball, thought about the three, swings it over to Ali. Ali, nice move down the lane. Lost it, picked his pocket, was Morrison. Up ahead to Harris. Good defense by Parrish, right from the hands of Eli Morrison. And the ball will go over to the Lancers again, Jim. I don't think I've ever seen it go off the knee, go off the backboard like that. Have you, Paul? I can't say that I have. <laughs> if you had a big guy trailing, that would have been a hell of an alley-oop. He might have dunked it. He might have sent it home. 11-6, <laughs> Lancers lead, 3-13 to go in the first quarter from Central Columbia. 9-0 versus 8-1 here on the season. Sagar into the game. Also Jensen swings it over to... Watkins, Watkins wow. over to Garrett, turn around, no good, halfway home. That's a tough shot, Aiden can knock that down, but that's a tough shot. Yost running the court. There we go, there's an that offensive foul. Offensive. Great job by Aiden, that's what I meant at the other end with Yost. Yost committed the offensive foul. He needs to defend the basket for, for Central Columbia the same way. Absolutely. Aiden with how many stitches in his head took that offensive uh, He got three stitches in his head. A little accident at gym class, I was told. Those gym, I, gym classes are rough at Loyal Sock Township. We're going to have to tell Kim to take it easy on him. <laughs> got hit in the head with a volleyball oh, ball. Not an ill-advised pass there. Morrison with the ball over to Harris. A little shake and bake. Harris for three. No good off the back oh, iron. No box out on Yost. Yost comes down with it back to Bradley. Bradley looks to reset. Bradley drives once again. Central seems to be rushing here, Jim. There seem to be out of sorts. Loyal Sox defensive pressure is all over them, and they're they're rushing their passes. Loyal Sox definitely turned up the defensive intensity from where they started. They're playing a good first quarter. Absolutely. Unusual for the Lancers. <laughs> Zager with the ball. Across to Siraj. Swings it to the corner to Gare. He'll take that from down there. The assassin from the corner, you can count that. 14-6. Lancer lead, Gare's been on fire this quarter. Up ahead to Bradley. Bradley to Yost, missed the cutting. Morrison to the basket, Harris trying to go one-on-one, -on -one, up and in. Again, somebody's gotta step in, help defense, take that away, too easy down the middle of the paint. Jensen with the ball. Left-handed dribble over to Sagar. Your buddy Sagar. He's into the game. <laughs> Swings it over to Siraj. I'd Siraj. like to see Siraj take that right to the he hoop thought there. thought about it. A nice move by Watkins. Goes nice baseline. pass. Dishes to Siraj up and in. Siraj Ali, good hands for the big fella. He's going to fill out in that body. He's going to be tough. Already is. Lancers up by eight. Oh, there we go. There's block Great number block 17. by Siraj. That's nice bounce pass. Aiden Gare, Reese Watkins will get a foul on the Columbia Blue Jays. And he will go to the line to shoot two. Gonna have a replay here. Watch the block there, Jim. Watch here we go, Siraj. Siraj gets up. Oh, get that out of Trick my house. Triggers it the other way. Aiden Gare, the point guard in him, gets to the middle of the floor like you should. Stop, bounce pass, well done. Reset the line. That Achilles heel. Shooting 39% for the year. And again, Reese is a great athlete. His basketball skills are developing the more he plays. Hopefully his foul shooting comes along with it. Second one on its way. There we go. Good by Watkins. And again, you could see it in his approach there. McComb himself down, much better backspin on the basketball. Harris with the ball. Gets it back to Bradley. Cross the timeline over to Morrison. Morrison with the ball, left wing extended, back to the top of the key to Bradley. McNellis. Pass Again, to a somebody's got to step in there. Can I leave him? You're always going to have help defense. You're always going to get beat. The key is to help. And we saw that in the Danville game the other night, but much of the first three quarters, no one was stepping up. No. Nice pass in low. Nice move by Siraj. Great job by Siraj Ali. 19 to 10, final minute to play in the first quarter. It's been all Lancers. Oh, there's Good a job. Throw. Terrible call. Great job by Reese getting the left hand in the passing lane. Did a great job, had a breakaway layup. Oh, good job by Siraj on the spin move on the replay there. 
I don't think we've had a stoppage in play really, have we? No, we're down to 31 seconds here in the first quarter. Luke Zeisloff coming into the game for the Blue Jays. Good looking sophomore guard, five foot 11. Over to McNellis, he's been very quiet. I'm surprised Central Columbia's ball handlers are having as much trouble. Good block. Scott McNellis up right place, right time. As we say, Jim Johnny on the spot. Good job hitting the offensive board, under 10. 10 seconds, Gare's gonna take this one, I think, himself. Nope, kicks it to Siraj. Three at the buzzer, no good. There's your horn. We played one here in Central Columbia. 19 to 12, Lancers lead. We'll be right back after a word from Blaze Alexander. Savings this big only comes once a year. And that's at the Blaze Alexander Kia Holiday Sticker Event. For a limited time only, Alexander Kia is offering savings up to 25% off MSRP on select in-stock models or rates as low as 0% for 66 months. You'll also find the best warranty in the business at Alexander Kia with coverage for 10 years or 100,000 miles. Make the most of every mile and take a trip up the creek for the Blaze Alexander lowest price guarantee. All right, we're back here at Central Columbia Gym. One quarter in the books. 19-12, Loyal Sock leads. What'd you see that first quarter? Well, one of the better first quarters the Lancers have played this year. They came out with better intensity. And, and what, one thing was obvious, we, Siraj got him going with that block. Uh, Idris came up with it back to Siraj. That sort of uh, knighted him there, and, and they went on a little bit of run. And two blocks by Siraj. In that 17 blocks on the season, Jim. Hey, the young fella's gonna gr grow up here and, and get a little taller and grow into that body. He's gonna be Six an absolute foot monster. Three, sophomore. All right, here we go, We're gonna start the second quarter and the Sock will inbound. Rivers Parish will throw it into Adris Ali. Of the brothers Ali. Of the brothers Ali. Over to Watkins, Watkins back to Siraj. Back to Rivers Parish. Little jump stop there, kicks it back to Siraj. The other thing in that Lancer fourth quarter, I like the way that Gare attacked the basket in shot from the outside. I mean, yeah. he had a he had it coming with the right and the left. Nice pass. On the block, a little rush that shot. Really Here. nice pass into the post to Aiden Gare. Here come the Blue Jays. That's Bradley. Good beat. defense. Changed That's good defense on the ball. Ellis back to Harris. Tries to penetrate, nice spin move in the lane and, up and, and in. And again, mistake made there, you can't reach for the ball and give up the spin move. All the way to the hoop. Def 19. Defense is played with the feet, not with the hands. 19-14, agree with you, Jim. Over to Siraj. Tries to drive, little Boy, he got hook. fouled down below, should have been an E and one. Great job by Siraj going to the basket with a baby hook. Good Back pressure. Over to Bradley. To Good job. It. Here comes in the passing. On the breakaway, lays it up and in. Great job, Arise going strong with the left hand, got his arm out in the passing lane. Did exactly like you're supposed to do. Poke the ball ahead and go get it. I know I know. Central plays three guards. I'm surprised they're not trying to get anybody posting up down low at all. McNellis. That, that's her. Played very well against Montoursville. That sweet left-handed shot. They should get him more opportunities, Paul. 23-16, Lancers lead. 6.22 to go before intermission. Loyal Sock playing with a purpose here tonight. Siraj, nice pass down low, baseline to Watkins. No good, tipped around. Siraj at the doorstep, picks it up. Couldn't get it to fall. McNellis hauls the boards. Good effort by the Lancers on the boards, just didn't put in the hoop. Swings it to the corner. Harris, pump fake. Now lets a three go. That's off. Rebounded by Reese Watkins. Up ahead, trying to get Gare. Siraj comes down with the ball. Gets it back over to Dries, and he walked. Well, they're getting up and down. Definitely getting up and down the court. 5.48 to go before intermission. Good thing you Italian guys talk fast. <laughs> Seven point <laughs> Lancer lead. As a Bradley, and I'm getting my workout here for today. Over to Eli Morrison. Definitely this pace helps Loyal Sock. Absolutely. Back to Harris, over to back to Morrison. Oh, Alley nice oop pass. to Yost, back door. Little confusion on the defense there. Siraj was pointing to Aiden. I agree with you, Paul, though. They're, they're missing the boat, not getting the ball inside more. No, absolutely. 
Gare, three pointer on the way, Bang. good. Count it. Boy, when he gets squared up, you can, you can just put it on the board lately. I'll tell I you shouldn't what, say lately all season. This ref is looking right at him. He put his he hands on he, his lips. He didn't and, like him blowing that kiss. And he blew a kiss, and I hope that wasn't <laughs> to me or you, Jim. <laughs> Morrison for three. Morrison comes right back, good pass, baseline jumper. 26-21, Central Columbia hanging around here. Over to Gare. Gare being guarded by Bradley. Oh, York wow. Fade away, three, missed everything. Yost clears out for Adris. Up ahead, the Bra oh, should have went right up with that. Good job, four Lancers got back. Good job by McNillis, putting it in with the left hand though. CI needs a timeout. Timeout on the court by CI. Jim, a little bit of a run here for the Blue Jays, 26-23. Absolutely, and it happened quick. The big three from the corner down here, got it going, and then McNillis, nice left-handed touch. Right now, again, if, if I'm central over there, they need to get the bad ball into the post. I mean, they, they, they got those two big fellas in there, and Lulsack has matchup troubles. Yeah, and, and the guards are being defended pretty well, except for when they're driving. Yeah. Loyal Suck's not picking up anyone in the lane, and we've to, seen Harris go three or four times to the hole un uh, uncontested. Absolutely, and, and again, too much reaching on defense by Loyal Suck. Slide defeat. Slide defeat, play with play with the legs. Let's see if Loyal Suck makes any changes there. If you're, if you're on the ball, you should be squared right up on the guy and hedge, if, depending if he's right hand or left hand, hedge him one way and you should you should have your eyes right in his belly button. All right, here we go, 4.31 to go before the half. 26-23. Big Loyal possession Sock for Lawsock. Down to three. They've been stuck in the 20s here for a couple minutes too. They were reeling them off there. Harris, nice ball, nice, nice dish. Good block by McNellis, he didn't even have to jump. Morrison looking to run. They had numbers, now they backed it out. Morrison to Good the Good job. Reese walking out in the passing lane with that arm. And Harris is going to inbound from the corner. You always say, Jim, hard to get it in from here. Hey, teams need to pressure that more, Paul. I agree. For, for some reason, guys don't love the easy ways to throw it in the backcourt, but some guys don't like to do that. Zeisloft into the game. Push on Siraj. Good he call, reached it. in and got him on a little foul there, Yost. Good matchup in the paint though between Yost and Siraj. I wonder if we're gonna see the big man at all tonight, Big Julian. I, I don't know. I, I... I think he might have a matchup trouble because of the quickness of, of the two bigs yeah. for the Jays of Yost and uh, McNellis. Now he's a space filler in there. He, may, he can take up that lane maybe. But you're right though, I agree with you. Yost backs his way in, back nice door, pass. cut by. Reese Watkins lost this man. Great backdoor cut by Harris, easy basket. One point lead now for the Lancers as this team, Central uh, Blue Jays are coming way back here, down by one. Watkins with the ball. Loyal Suck looks flat footed here, nobody's moving Jim. Gare trying to go through everyone and they, he drew the foul. Well, he got bailed out there. You can't drive through five guys. Right, and that's exactly I mean, what happened, but everyone's standing around. Aiden's got a good head on his shoulders, understands offensive basketball, but, but there's a case where numbers, somebody got to be open. Yost getting a much deserved break. Russell Gump coming into the game, 6'4", junior. Should I say the joke now or save it? Ah, wait till he scores. All right. <laughs> Over to Jensen, Jensen to Watkins on the baseline. Swings it back to Jensen, back to Ali. Gare setting Gare's up. gonna get called yeah, for an offensive foul here. Yep. He keeps pushing down below, that ref just looking at him with the... And he's screaming for the ball. Jensen thought about it, Watkins. Jensen long, three, short. Batted Good job by Siraj, or I'm sorry, Idris. Four Blue Jays around the ball. Little guy in there fighting, kept it alive. Here we go the other way. McNellis, pump fake. Over to Gump. Gump in the lane, no good. There he is again. Dries comes down with it and they're gonna call No! Him. He kept his dribble. That's a terrible call. You, you got a ref right on that that didn't call it. He had the ball heading to the floor as he traveled. Here we got a replay of it to show you. The shot goes up, 
Adrisin fighting for the rebound, comes down and keeps his dribble. He had the ball going down to the floor as soon as it touched his hands. Yeah, that was a bad call there. Eli Morrison coming back into the game. And Harris will inbound. Back to Bradley. To the corner, back to Bradley again. That's oh, a walk. that might have been a walk there. Long three by Harris, no good. Watkins cleans the glass. Pass it, get it out. Oh, went for the steal. Garrett came down with it. Once again, drive it to the hole. Gets his oh, wow. own rebound up and in. I think that should have been a travel. I don't think that hit anything, and I think he caught his own pass. I agree. Does he get an assist on that, Paul? <laughs> Swings it back to Harris. Harris to Bradley. Back to Gump, swings it over to Morrison. Being guarded by Ali. Two minutes, six seconds to go in the half. Gump drives, kicks it back out to Harris. Again, good defense by the Lancers. Nice pass. There's a give and go, cut up and in. Russell real, Gump. Real, 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 real nice cut to the basket, easy, good, good find him. And is that Forrest, brother? That is. <laughs> so here we go. Lancers need a basket. Good work around the perimeter. Over to Watkins. Watkins to Jensen, another three. Bang. Count that one. J Jensen, can, Jensen can flat out shoot. He just needs to be a little more confident when he gets the ball. 31-27, Lancers lead. One minute, 30 seconds to go in the half. Clock running. Very entertaining first half. Absolutely. Morrison with the ball. Little shake and bake back to Zyslav. Zyslav drives in the lane, being contested. Oh. Up Luke Zyslav, 5'11", sophomore guard. Good defense, just better offense there. Lays it up and in, Watkins through four guys. Reese Watkins all the way the other way, left hand, made it look easy. They're going up and down here. Kicks it back to Bradley. Bradley back to Morrison at the point. Being guarded by Ali between his legs, kicks it over to Bradley. 53 seconds to go. In the half, four point, Lancer lead. Another cutter is Morrison. Well, that's in Central Columbia's DNA. They run offense and cut to the basket well. Jensen just hooked him. There you that go. Another wow. cut, lays beautiful it up pass. Dylan Harris, beautiful pass. No, and CI's not happy at all about that. I think that was Luke Zeisloff that finished. Gare. All the way double pumping in. Aiden Gare's just an offensive. He's just a flat out scorer. Oh, Jensen almost got a pick right there. 19 seconds, four point lead. Central's going to hold for one shot. This game's everything we thought it would be, Paul. Absolutely, Jim. Siraj on point. Here you go, big fella playing point guard. Takes it to the hole and count it. Eli Morrison isolated one-on-one, -on -one, went right to the basket, drew the contact, laid it up and in, Jim, and they can cut the lead to one. Well, he saw the mismatch. He had the big on him, used his quickness and his speed left hand and beat him, and, I mean, that's, that's a lesson there. Eli shooting 75% for the year from the line. 4.4 seconds to go. Morrison did the right thing. He knew he had the mismatch. He didn't give the Lancers a chance to switch back. 35-34. Sideline break. Gare, long three-pointer. That almost went. We played one half here at Central Ooh. Columbia High School. 35-34, Lancers lead. What a half, Jim, what a half. What a half. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Cami Rooney, broker owner of Remax West Branch, and I'm here today to talk about a new program called Heroes Home Advantage that's exclusive to Lycoming County. And I'm also here with Mike Lee from Susquehanna Community Bank. And this program is great because it helps heroes on the front line for us every day. And what we do is we give back 20% of the commission on the realtor side to the hero. And Mike, what, what do you have at the bank as far as the program? Well, first off, we're glad to partner with Rebax and, and Cami, thank you very much for the partnership. And at closing, we'll give up, up to $700 back to that hero in our community. Uh, and that also, just keep in mind who these heroes are. These are folks who make our community better and safer. Absolutely. And to qualify to be a hero, it includes the military, whether it's active, retired, or a veteran, law enforcement, first responders, healthcare professionals, and 
Who else, Mike? Anybody well, missing? Well, there's another great category too, Cami, and that's our teachers that are out there. Awesome. So we include them in the program as well. So it's a very broad group, and we're just really excited to give back to the community. Our name, Susquehanna Community Bank, has that obviously the community name in there. It's a great way to partner with you and, and give back to the community. That's great. And Remax West Branch felt that we could really give back to the community because we live and work in this community every day and these people are on the front line for us so this is our way of giving back to them. And the timing is really good for us by the way. Susquehanna Community Bank, our, our seventh branch is opening here soon at, on the Golden Strip. So it, we're, we're an independent local bank. We uh, formerly known as West Mountain State Bank. We rebranded last year to Susquehanna Community Bank and we love our independence and that's the plan for us to have the seventh branch open with ribbon cutting in october that's great so you can call susquehanna community bank or remax west branch at 570-321-1010 and check out these great listings Here's some of these active listings that we currently have at Remax West Branch. And whether you're a first time home buyer, a move up buyer, or somebody that's downsizing, call us for all of your real estate needs today. We would be glad to help you. All right guys, welcome back into half 35-34 Lancers lead. Jim was able to catch up with CI before the game. We couldn't air it before the game. We're going to have that interview for you right now. Jim standing by with CI, taped from before. And we're back, and I'm here with Loyal Suck head coach, Ron Insinger, known as CI. How, How are you doing, doing Jimmy? I call you Ron Insinger. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Happy New Year. I haven't seen you since the New Year. Happy New Year to you, big well, man. Where else would you rather be tonight? That's right. You know, snowstorm, sleet, whatever. You know, we came to play, and I hope the, the guys are ready. You know, it's all about preparation, Jimmy, as you well know. We've had a couple good practices. I hope the stage is set. And when we talk about Central Columbia, we always talk about it out of the corner of our mouth because it's a tough place to come and get a win. And you and I have seen some low-scoring games down here. We've seen some, some things you don't see often. Tell me about when you come down here and play the Blue Jays. Well, we call it the snake pit. It's one of the toughest places to win a basketball game uh, for any number of reasons. Uh, Fans, uh, they usually have a good, solid uh, student group. Uh, but more importantly, Chris Snyder does a great, great job. job. He he is like Pete Carell when he coached at Princeton. Very deliberate, uh, backdoor style basketball. Uh, he's famous for his matchup, uh, whether it be a three-two, two-three. You know, and it's very confusing because sometimes it appears to be a zone. So yeah. uh, it's, it appears to be a man. Sure isn't Lancer Lightning, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's our style. That's that's our bread and butter. And when someone strips us of our Lancer Lightning, you know, we kind of go into a, a tailspin. And and the new gymnasium is much brighter, and I think it's a, li a little better than the old gymnasium. Thoughts? Yeah, yeah absolutely. This is a this is a beautiful, beautiful gym. Yep, it is. Uh, they've done a great job with it. And uh, we've only played here once. That was last year. So. Uh, Hope that was good to us last year, so hopefully the boys and will come through tonight. I talk about at the end of games that it's not in Loyal Sox DNA to slow the ball down. That a lot of times when, when, when it's conventional basketball to put it in the four corners and try to run clock, that we've always had trouble. And I'll go back to when I played. We just always seem to have trouble doing that. And I noticed and I talk about it that you more or less let them go look for a good shot, and if they have a good shot opportunity, take it. Yeah, you know, and, and that... Once, am, am I right one, about that? No, you're absolutely okay. right. You know, because we do, we struggle 
trying to hold the ball. You know, we always have and probably always will. And, and uh, so we, they have the green light. Uh, you know, once in a while that comes back to bite us. And you and I have for talked about part, that over the years. It, and, and we come to the conclusion because you like the up-tempo and your players like the up-tempo, you're playing at that level, then it just seems hard to back it back down. Yeah, you know, when, once we have the momentum spinning in our favor, you know, I'm not about to slow it down and take a, take that away from them. No. So, uh, and, and foul shooting, always been an Achilles heel. One of those things you and I, I mean, we've talked about it over the years. I don't think any team practices it more. For people out there that think Lil Sack yeah. doesn't practice foul shots, I, I know some long gym nights when we didn't shoot well when I played. I've heard that's continued in the years after I played. Yeah. Hunter told me about it when he played. Yep. And, so. and I don't know what the answer is. No, you know, to me it's just focus. The mechanics are good, you know, and, and all, but the, and sometimes I think they they want to get into that full court game and absolutely uh, it's just standing and still isn't their style. I talked about I talk about a little bit foul shooting is as much about slowing your body and your breathing down in a mental aspect as it is is actually shooting a basketball. Yeah, you got to think positively. You got to step up. You got to have a little cockiness in you actually. <laughs> and there's a fine line there, but still I think that you know when you step up, you know you're going to get this is two easy points and. So. All right, well, you and I could talk all night. We'll get you in the locker room. Keys to the game tonight. All right, one, we got to contain Yost. You know, we, we saw him a little bit last year when he played for Danville, but uh, I think he's, you know, he's the key. We got to keep him off the glass. Absolutely. And we, we've got to get him into a half court. Or we've got to get them in a full court game. A and, tempo game. Yep. A little bit different Central Columbia team. They have the guards to go up and down. Yeah. They so, do. So I, I watched them against Mentorsville, and I, I liked when they sped the game up against Mentorsville. Yeah. So, so it, it, this is a different ball team, and uh, but so ours is different than last year, too. So we'll just see. You know, I think that uh, this is a pivotal game in the PHAC. So Where you know, else would you rather be on a snowy January night? That's I mean, right. I, l I look forward to this all day. I mean, I know I might be a little sick in the head, but. No, no, no. <laughs> we were. I know my, my players wanted to play. You know, there was a rumor running around school that it was going to be called off because some schools left early. But uh, you know, they made it loud and clearly to me that let's go. Let's go. Hey, we'll get you out of here. Good luck All tonight. Right, thanks, Commercial Jimmy. Commercial break. We'll be back with some basketball. Your family table away from home is Dolly's Diner now with three great locations: the original Dolly's Loyal Sock behind Rita's off the Golden Strip, Dolly's Mentorsville where Dolly met Griggs, and now the new Dolly's. Park Avenue, Williamsport, formerly Donna's Restaurant. With those amazing breakfasts, daily and chef specials, sticky buns, and more, and Greg's Coffee and Peanuts. Don't miss it. Dolly's Diner, your family table away from home, covering the Williamsport area. Hi, right, we're back here at Central Columbia 35-34. Great interview with Jim with CI before the game, Jim. Always great to talk to CI. Oh, CI, uh, we could talk all day, but luck luckily we got it on there. We couldn't get it on before the game. I'm glad you got it before the game and not now because he is not <laughs> happy, arms folded. We can read some body language there. He's not happy, well, but at least they're ahead by a point. What do we got for scoring, Paul? Well, Aiden Gare led all scores with 17, the assassin from the field. Siraj Ali with eight, Reese Watkins with seven, Sean Jensen with three off the bench, four Central Columbia. Dylan Harris with 10, Eli Morrison with 10, Garrett McNellis with 6, Patrick Yost with 4, Zeisloff with 2, and Russell Gump with 2 for 34 points. 22 second period points by Central, Jim. Now they, they got it going there in the second quarter, and, the, and Loyal Sock just didn't have an answer. Meanwhile, Loyal Sock was stuck in the mid-20s there for a few possessions, but hey, great first half of basketball. I said to you off the air, boy, both teams got up and down. The whole half it didn't it seemed like it'd be 50 to 48 but it is eight minute quarters 35 34 is yeah, pretty high scoring loyal socks behind her average for the year by a little bit but not much so that's, a, that's no. what they usually put up in the first half so key key to the second half here if i if i'm central columbia i still think they can get it into the two big guys and they they didn't really what did you say yost had four he had four they have not really even the points that they've scored two have been second chance points uh, McNellis had a couple nice moves down low, but other than that, it's been the guard play of the Blue Jays. Loyal sock and tradition, man-to-man -man defense. Yost to Bradley to the Morrison, shuffled his feet a little bit there. Yeah, they only call that on Loyal Sock. <laughs> <laughs> Back to McNellis, over to Yost. Back to Bradley. 
Bradley tries to get it inside there, Jim. Maybe they heard us. Good job by Siraj poking it away there. Just got to be careful with the ref on the baseline. He's not a Lancer fan. No, and he doesn't need a Griggs. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> Harris with the ball. I think he eats at the Perkins at Buckhorn. I've eaten there before, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice drive. Should have shot it. There's a little bit. It's a turnover for Ali. And Good job by Idris running it down. Idris with the ball. Swings it inside to Brother Siraj. Dropped a little bit. Jen Watkins from the corner. Backs it back out. Aiden Gare, 17 points the first half. They're trying to free him nice up. Nice pass. pass. In low. Siraj at the doorstep. Oh, came in and out. Halfway down. Watkins for three. No good. Rebound to by McNellis. Just couldn't get it down. Good job by the Lancers that working it in. Halfway down and came up. Back out to Harris. Over to Eli Morrison. Again, this is more traditional Central Columbia basketball. Work, work, pass, pass. Trap in the lane there. Down the baseline. Back to McNellis. Cross court pass. Swings it to the corner. Nice cut. McNellis, that six foot five frame, turns around, blocked by Reese. Great job by Reese Watkins, defense on the left hander. Reese in traffic, dribble screen. And a very sloppy start the first minute and 30 seconds here of this third quarter, Jim. Not for effort, a lot of effort, a lot of energy, but you're right. Not very clean basketball right now. Over to Idris. Idris goes to drive baseline, backs it back out. Swings it cross court to Reese. Over to Rivers Parish. She's been very quiet tonight. Back to Aiden. He's going to pull that. Wow, out. NBA beyond. Oh, baby. Bang. And he's yelling again. Maybe I should call him the assassin because he uses a rifle. He's so far away from the basket. I don't know. He made that one from Crystal Lake. <laughs> Absolutely. Over to Yost. Yost drives baseline strong. Got away Rejected. with a foul there. Good by job Ali. by Siraj. Rebounding out. Good hustle. And the quote drowning pool, Jim. Let the bodies <laughs> hit the floor. And they did. And they did. 38-34. Lancer lead. 5.34 to go in the third. The competitive spirit in this game is at a different level than a lot of the games we've done this year. Absolutely. We've had really good ball games, but these teams are really after each other here tonight. Oh, this is two top-notch teams. Nice cut to the basket. Great inbound pass by Rivers. Reese Watkins finishes it off. Over to Bradley. Bradley kicks it back to McNellis. Ellis looking for a cutter, nobody there. Back to Eli Morrison. Harris being guarded by Watkins. Central Columbia, this is what they do, work with the ball. Oh, nice move by Morrison. Can't get it to drop, Siraj comes down with it. Up ahead to Watkins, he has a streaking Parrish, didn't see him, and Reese will slow it down. Back out to Siraj, back to Reese. I would sooner see the ball in Idris's hands here. Get it, get it to your point guard, let him run offense. Reese going one-on-one -on -one to the basket, hard off the back iron, rebounded by McNellis. Up ahead to Morrison. Here come the Blue Jays. Nice move, baseline drive, kicks it down. Oh, Yost. what a block. Rivers Parrish, nice block in there by the guard, smacks it off the backboard, off the other player and out of bounds. And they lost it there, and 40 to 34, lead up to six now for Loyal Sock. Here comes Idris Ali across the timeline. Lancers going from right to left on your screen. 424 to go, clock running third quarter. Parrish off the screen, back to Aiden. He has 20 on the night, looking for a little isolation. Baseline uses that arm to Got push it. off. You, you called it, and he, this guy wasn't missing it. Uh, and, and it was an offensive foul, it was a push off. Now, as an offensive player, you, you want to be able to do that. As a defensive player, you hope they call it. Sort of like that play in the end zone with the Saints game and the Vikings and the big tight end goes up and does a little push off. Well, he only pushed off with one hand, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> you have to feel bad for the Saints. That's three years in a row they had a bad call go against them. It, and that's know, the reason that that rules in the league. Do you know who I felt bad for last night was Coach Allen Taylor and the Millionaires. Yeah, absolutely. They played a great second half. 
left it all out in the court and came up a little short. Johnny Freiburg's buzzer. And that's why I don't coach because I thought about that game and what, what, what could have went different for Coach Taylor. Yeah, absolutely. Kept me up. Nice drive to the basket. Left hand by Siraj. Right down through the paint. Siraj has 10. And we got a timeout on the floor, 42-34. Got an instant replay here. Siraj, right hand, switches to the left, lays it in nice and sweet. We're going to keep it here, Paul. Let's talk about last night a little bit because we, we got out of there in a hurry. But now Coach Allen Taylor's got his hands full, with, I, I think, with the defensive effort the team's putting in. First half did, did, didn't get it, but as a coach, you, he did exactly what you're supposed to do. He took him in the locker room. I don't know what was said. He got him to come out. They played determined. They played with energy. They played with effort, and they came all the way back against a good state college team only to have the, the, the Cousins Freiburg. Uh, Johnny Freiburg Johnny. stepped back and buried that three point. You said it, Jim, though. When you're coming back like that and you're full court pressing, you're exhuming a lot of energy. And, right. and it takes a lot out of the team. And, and they did come up with the lead. And like I said, he hit a three-pointer, and that was very contested. Very Marshall contested. Marshall Brown was right in his face, and he just buried it over him. And you know what I mean? <laughs> that was what well, they say, but luck be a lady. And Absolutely. But, but back to Coach Taylor. I, I, yeah. he'll, he'll get them straightened out. And come, come playoff time, they're going to qualify because of the number of teams that are in District 2-4. So I, they're going to be a tough out for somebody. Yeah, well, they're in. Let's they're get back to tonight. We got right. a heck of a barn burner Central here. Central has not scored since halftime. Oh, wow. Five minutes into the second quarter, nearly. And it's 42 to 34. Loyal Sock up by eight. Good intensity on defense by the Lancers. They need a bucket here, big time. They're and not they getting it there. It that should be a turnover. And uh, head coach Chris Snyder not happy at all. Used the timeout, trying to settle down the troops here. Loyal Sock and Central, no strangers to each other. Last year, Loyal Sock beat them three times. Nice, nice cut. Pass. Cutting Reese Watkins, he'll go to the line. We had that one covered, nice cut, nice pass. The key there is Aiden Gare delivering the ball in a place where he could catch and shoot because it was contested. And he'll go to the foul line. Watkins trying to improve on that 39% free throw mark. And he hit one of two before. Well, the whole thing, if he, if he slows down nice, he'll make this one. Up and in. It, you can see he's got a good form. The, the whole key is for him to put his eyes on that rim, take his time, and then release. We, we talked about it earlier in the year. He was almost shooting the ball before his eyes even caught the rim. Yeah, you, you said that during the tip-off tournament. So right here with his ritual, just watch him. If he, That's short. Duffed it short. Harris hauls the boards. Nine-point Lancer lead. Central still looking for their first bucket of the second half. That's Morrison between his legs over to Yost. Yost left wing extended, back to Harris. Harris jumper from the top of the key, that's short. Nobody there. Here comes Ali. Right Three down Broadway. Two. Nice shot, got Throws it up. It up. And no call. No. Nope. Yost calls the board, swinging his arms, and they're gonna call Jensen for a hold. If, if Jensen would have flopped, he might have got that call because I really thought Yost created the contact and, and Jensen, again, was reaching over. Anytime the officials see that, they usually call it your way. But I think we're seeing some frustration here on Central. Absolutely. They've gone a long time here. Five and a half minutes without a basket. Bad pass. Lucky you corralled it. Harris drives baseline, kicks it back Good over hit. to Morrison. Kicks it to the corner to Zyslav. Zyslav, nice jump step in the oh, lane. Good Dip, defense. Dipsy doodle. Rivers Parish, two on two break. Spin move. Oh. Off. oh, Watkins lays it up and in and a foul. Absolutely gorgeous. 360 spin move, dishes it off to the cutter. We're going to get a replay here of that. Oh, that was fantastic action right there. Here we go. It starts with the rebound, runs it out. Rivers Parish come down right wing. 360 spin over to Reese. Reese finishes with the foul. Foul shot no good. 11 point lead. Coach Webb's going to work with him on foul shooting after the game. Over to Morrison. Morrison back to Bradley. Bradley to Harris. Harris driving in the lane. Ooh. Lays it up and in. 
I'd like to see more of that out of him. He's their leading scorer, and I don't think he takes enough advantage of his offensive skill set. Yeah, for, for a kid that has a smaller body as Dylan Harris, he nice goes pass in into the, the post. Boys. Nice drop stepping in. Well done. Fundamentally strong. I, I was saying with Dylan Harris, he's not the biggest kid. No. But he goes in with the big boys there, and he can handle himself down low. Strong lower base for Dylan Harris. And he has 12 on tonight, 11 point Lancer lead. As Zaislav has the ball over to Yost. Kicks it back long, three for Harris, count it. He must have heard me, Paul. Lancer's right back down in the offensive end. Nice cut by, gonna have a reaching foul. Jensen made a nice cut to the basket, well delivered and, and we got a reach. Hey, we're gonna see Julian, the big fella's coming in. These will be some good minutes for Julian in for a minute and 22 here to close the third. The point guard brother Ali's back in. We got Siraj, we got Jensen, and we got uh, Reese Watkins for the Lancers. Jensen will inbound. Adrice nice pass. The I like that. No, oh. oh, misses the bunny. Well hey. done, though, by Julian. Good move. Just got to finish it. Up strong with that one, Julian. Kicks it back to Gump. Gump drives, foul line, jumper, good. Nice left hand. Russell Gump, 6'4", junior. I think if I played for me, he'd get more minutes than he does. He's looked good both times we saw him, Paul, the Gump boy. Absolutely. Jensen, Jensen lines it up. That's short. And a rebound to by Gump. Up ahead to Bradley. Bradley now pushing it. Swing it cross court to Harris. A nice move, Harris kicks it back to Morrison. Same spot, missed everything this time. And Zaislav stepped on the line. It's going to be Lancer ball with 30 seconds to go, Jim. 47-41. Well, I think right, right now the Lancers look a little winded. CI made some subs for the head down the stretch. Me as a coach would hold for one. Again, we, we know we talk about it. It's not in the Lancers' DNA to have a hard time holding the ball. But right now, here's an opportunity where you should go. You should go to the fourth down. Or I'm sorry, I had no more than but six points. I mean, no right. worse than six points. And Central now switched to a zone here. Yeah. So run it down. Again, we've seen teams have problems all year long. They leave the clock run down too much. Six, seven seconds. They want to attack the basket. Give yourself an opportunity for an offensive rebound. Nice pass into the big fellow, and he walked. Four seconds to go, 47-41. I think it's in Julian's head here a little bit, confidence, because he definitely has his ability to finish. Absolutely. Up ahead, at the horn, count it. Nice. Nice off at the buzzer. Nice job. Central Columbia, nice 360 spin, little jumper there. Well, I'll tell you what, Jim, that's some momentum going into that fourth quarter. And we talked about Uncle Mo. He's the uncle we want at everyone's table. 47-43, <laughs> heading to the fourth. Lancers lead by four. Your family table away from home is Dolly's Diner, now with three great locations. The original Dolly's Loyal Sock behind Rita's off the Golden Strip. Dolly's Mentorsville, where Dolly met Griggs. And now the new Dolly's Park Avenue, Williamsport, formerly Donna's Restaurant. With those amazing breakfasts, daily and chef specials, sticky buns and more, and Griggs Coffee and Peanuts. Don't miss it. Dolly's Diner, your family table away from home, covering the Williamsport area. You pay what we pay, not a cent more? I don't think so. You're actually going to pay less. Hi, it's Adam at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie. It's the Chevy employee discount for everyone until January 2nd. With too many models to list, stop in or check us out online at BlazeAlexanderChevy.com and find out which brand new Chevrolets qualify for less than employee price. You pay what we pay, not a cent more? I don't think so. You're actually going to pay less and only at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie. Lowest price. All right, welcome back here. Let's check the replay out as time expired. Zeisloff with that 360 turnaround drained it, Jim. Great 47, shot. 47-43, a 12-9 quarter in the favor of the Lancers. Lancers 19-12, they were down 22-16. 12-9, 47-43, we reset after three. Zeisloff, great job with body control and athletic play there. And nothing but the bottom of the net. 
and Central can cut it to one point here with a three-pointer dispossession. They will not go away. Loyal Sucks had a couple big leads, and Central showing the heart of a champion as they keep coming back. Nice move down the lane. Bradley up and in. Good job by Bradley shielding the, the defender with his body and a little up and under there. Xander Bradley's had a lot of touches. That's his first bucket of the game. Watkins thought about the three. Nice cut. Cutter, Siraj blocked by Gump. Adris in with the <laughs> in with the trees. You got you got it. You got to like Adris getting in there with the big fellas. I don't think Central like to call the fans here. Well, I know Adris's name's not yeah. Lou. Do, do you see the official on the baseline down there? Can we get a shot of him Sit, sitting in the first row? Oh, in the student section. <laughs> in the student section. First one up. Good job by Adris making the foul shot. There we go. We got a little shot. PIAA certified official in the first row. Adris with the second one. Just kidding, of course. Yeah, Jim, we, we need to talk to those guys when we have to do those <laughs> games. They'll be tacking on any more fees. <laughs> 49-45, Loyal Sock leads another tremendous game here on webweeklylive.com, Hoopers Only TV. Thanks for spending your Tuesday night with Paul Bow and Jim Webb here calling the action from Central Columbia in a snowy night in Central Pennsylvania. I love when the student section gets into it and does different stuff. Absolutely. Nice move based nice. on cutter. No oh, bad there. pass. Kicks in the corner. Harris. Harris over to Gump. Drops it down. Nice pass back. Oh, Good great block. block by Aiden Gare. Yeah. This is where Gare usually takes over here in the fourth. Right down Broadway. Oh, reaching foul. Not called. No call at all. Uh, if that was dodgeball, Bradley would be out, so... I think we have an injury here under the baseline. Never want to see that, Paul. There was a lot of Did contact underneath. And that's Zeisloff holding his nose. <laughs> and Coach Schneider coming out to check on him. I think he caught an elbow. We saw that happen last night in the Williamsport game. I think he's got a bloody nose, Paul. Yeah, I think so, too. And they're going to come over and tend them here. Well, we got a little break in the action, 49-45. Loyal Sox holding on, Central making a run. Great ball game. Absolutely, 6.45 to go in the ball game. Plenty of time in a high school game. Anything can happen here. Usually the fourth quarter, I was saying before that play, that's when Aiden Gare usually takes over. He tried to go coast to coast with that one. No call. And then... Uh, Central turned it back over, I believe. Got a little, little, little court clean in here. Where's Grant? Where's Grant? Yeah, where's Grant at when we need him? Gonna clean things up here. Well, Siraj has definitely had the Windex out cleaning the backboard. He's done a great job rebounding for the Lancers here tonight. Get, four, get, four Lancers, sorry, Jim. You'll go ahead. Four Lancers have scored before Ali's foul shot. That is it, four wow. players. So like I said, that's really believing in your starters there because they didn't get much help tonight anywhere else. And they're ahead by four points, so that's always a good thing. And here we go, Paul down the home stretch. All right, set after the little break there. Garrett inbound over to Rivers Parish. Nice Cross pass. pass. Watkins cutting baseline up and in. Good cut by Watkins, good hands. All statewide receiver puts it in way. Here comes Morrison across the timeline. Blue Jays going from left to right over to Harris. And they're gonna call a push right there. Well, uh, here's my, my theory on that. If you're gonna call that offensive foul on Garrett down this end for using the arm bar, that has to be a push off on the Central Columbia offensive player in that end. Yep, and they're going to call it on Parrish. 51-45, Lancers by six. Can we get the glasses for the guy in the big? Oh. Yost puts it on the floor again. Strong up again. Can't Good job. Get it, can't get it to drop, and he's not happy at all about that one. Good Here job by Gare. Gare. All the way to the hoop and in. Aiden Gare, they left him go right down Broadway. Nobody stepped in in front of the linebacker. 
Garris, 22 on the night, 53, 45 Lancers. Six minutes to go in the ball game. There's a foul away from the ball. Things are getting a little chippy under there between Gare and Yost. Gare's got to be careful. He's running his mouth, and these officials, they'll, they'll let him have it. Yeah, he, he's, I, <laughs> I think the bearded guy under the baseline there got Hunter a couple times. Three-pointer on the way. Harris count it. I like Harris's game. 18 for Dylan Harris. Six-foot junior guard. He's a scorer also. Keita Loyal sack now a five-point lead. Get a good shot at the basket. Came into the game with 23 three-pointers, only adding to that total. Good job by Gare using his body strong and finishes. Flexes his arm a little bit to the student body. <laughs> I don't like to see that, but it is entertaining. I'm going to call a foul out here. I guarantee you one of those officials see him do that. They're going to ring him up so quick. Yeah, nobody saw See, I wasn't too happy about that, I can tell you that. <laughs> He needs to just calm himself down. I know it's there's the difference. moment. Back when I played, if I had done that, I'd have sat the bench the whole season. <laughs> the, as soon as I flexed that arm, you heard, and the horn. <laughs> and that was just for flexing. Yeah. That's not about when you didn't pass, right? <laughs> That's right. Yost, foul line. Missed everything. Tipped around. Here comes Here Gare. we go. Lancers on a run out. Up the parish. Rivers. Alley-oop to Watkins. Good defense by Yost. Didn't need the alley-oop. A nice bounce pass. Here we go the other way. Harris pulls up around the rim, halfway down. Yeoman's work for Yost underneath, up and in. Yost is a tough. Oh, and they stole the ball, and they're going to get a foul on Aiden Gare. And this place has come on him, Jim. Absolutely. Student section loves it. That's four on Aiden Gare. Yeah, they. they they're letting Aiden, Aiden have it for that little flex into the muscle. So what do we got here? Reset us, Paul. All right, 55 to 50. Eli Morrison at the line, 75% foul shooter. 4.52 to go in the ball game. Gotcha. Possession arrow in favor of Loyal Sox. Fifth first one up and good, 55-51. Tell you what, the student section now is on their feet here. Absolutely. This place is rocking. Morrison, second one on the way, around the rim, no good. Four-point Lancer lead, Watkins, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Lancer's got a break there. <laughs> Ali, across the timeline. All the way to the rack. Looking to drive, throws a one-hander up, ball tip. Siraj, great rebound. Siraj. Up with the left hand. Oh, oh. terrible call. Wow. The place is erupted, but I, I can tell you, Paul, everybody uses that move. Back in the 80s, that would have been a travel. That hasn't been a travel since 1990. Everybody uses that move. Up ahead to Morrison. Morrison back to Bradley. Four-point lead, Lancers. 4.22, clock running, fourth quarter. On the block, McNellis, he's been quiet the second half. Good job by Siraj, boxing out, getting the rebound. Siraj used his body there. Over to Aiden Gare, playing with four okay, fouls. Gare, and they're gonna call a reach there, that's a good call. Aiden's gotta be very careful because, as the rule states, a technical foul is a personal foul, and he, he's, he's gotta clean it up here a little bit. Yeah. Because these guys would love to run him. Oh, absolutely. Back over to Idris. Four minutes to go in the ball game. Four point Lancer lead. Back to Reese Watkins. Watkins to Gare. Over to Idris being guarded by Morrison. Good job by the Lancers running some offense here. No shot clock in high school basketball, which needs to be changed. Gare, jumper, bang, gun, got it. Money. Nice steal. Reese Watkins on the inbounds, puts it in. Key play. 59-51, Loyal Sock leads. 3.26 to go. And a turnover the other way. Central threw it away. White timeout on the floor. We got a little instant replay here. 
Siraj Beauty with the left hand. They called a travel. It was not there. Everybody uses that move. Like I said, in the old days, you couldn't do that. Just like the Euro step, okay? The Euro step was a travel when I played. Now, if you don't have a Euro step, you don't have a game. So oh, Absolutely. And 59-51. Three minutes and 24 seconds to go. We, we might look back to that little stretch there where Gare made the tough shot and then Reese Watkins... Played, played, played dog. He laid down there a little bit and then stole the inbounds pass. Hit a little bit, put it in. That's a big swing there. Put, gives the Lancers an eight-point lead. Well, this game, this has been a game of runs here. And Loyal Suck on a little bit of a run now, 59-51. 3.24 to go. In the ball game here, Aiden Gare has 26 points for it, the Lancers. He, he's just money. He's having a great senior season. If, if right right now, from, from what I've saw in the Lancers level, 3A in our area, I mean, he, he, he's definitely the best player in the area. But I, with the start he's off of, he, if he continues, he could be the state player of the year. I mean, yeah, he, he, he's, he's been playing that good of basketball. And the young point guard from Wellsboro, Joseph Grab also lead. He's up at about 27, 28 points a game. We saw him play Jim. That's, that's our buddy, right? Yeah. Yeah, we... Yeah. He was all tournament team in the tournament yeah, earlier. They lost their first. Oh, there was a reach and a foul. No call. Going the other way. Morrison uses his body. Yost picks up the trash. Lays it up and in. Good job by Yost. Trailing the plane. Cleaning up the mess. Okay, again, Aiden's got to be careful here. Four fouls. Back to Reese. Over to Siraj. McNellis went for the pick. Jensen thought about it. Back over to Idris. 2.55 to go. Six point lead. Adris backs it up. Siraj sets the screen. Adris, little shake and bake there. Gets it back out. 2.45 to go. Well, I'd, like, I'd like to see the Lancers spread the floor here like they're doing. And, and, and somebody's going to cut and be open. Here, Watkins down on the baseline here. Jensen. Actually, if Central doesn't tighten up their defense, you could run clock here. Ball batted around over to Reese. Yost come flying in there. Back to Jensen. Jensen up. Oh, misses the bunny. Ball on the floor. Good call by the official. He was laying, laying on the baseline, touched the basketball, goes over to the Lancers. Cole Heinzelman into the game for the Blue Jays. First time we saw him tonight. This is his... Check that. That Zeisloff had to change his jersey. Got blood on it. Oh, boy. Bad turnover by the Lancers. Might be a good time for a timeout for CI, just, just to settle the troops down here. Try to reset things here. 59-53, 2.19 to go. I'm sorry, which Zeisloff wearing now? He's wearing number four. He got blood on his jersey. That's Bradley with the ball in the corner, down to Yost on the block. Yost using his body, lost it. Somebody needs to get on the floor there. Ball. Zeisloff underneath. Oh. Dipsy doodle, no good. Ball batted around like a pinball. Adris out to Aiden Gare on the run out, going strong to the basket. Adris will follow it up. And up and in. Great job by Adris. He's definitely on our all hustle team, Paul. Absolutely. 61 53. <laughs> I don't think Idris's dad liked that call. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Again, I, the only thing I'll say is they got a gear earlier in the game. If, if you're going to call that pushing off, yeah, I like it to be part of the game, and you, and you know it's part of the game. But Idris was in good defensive position. He was moving his feet. See, he's going to call a timeout here, Jim. Take your advice. All right, we got a timeout on the floor. 144 to go in the ballgame. 61-53. We'll be right back after a word from Blaze Alexander. It's Blaze Alexander, Ford's year end tax eliminator. That's right, the time of year where we got to liquidate inventory or pay money to the IRS, and we'd rather give it to you than the IRS. Get into a new F-150 truck with discounts up to $15,177. How about a new 2020 Ford Explorer with a discount up to $85.77? Over 450 new and used vehicles to choose from at the lowest prices of the year, and always get the most for your trade at Route 45. Interest rates as low as 0%. It's Blaze Alexander, Ford's year end tax eliminator. Route 45, Lewisburg, the lowest price guaranteed. 
You pay what we pay, not a cent more? I don't think so. You're actually going to pay less. Hi, it's Adam at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie. It's the Chevy employee discount for everyone until January 2nd. With too many models to list, stop in or check us out online at BlazeAlexanderChevy.com and find out which brand new Chevrolets qualify for less than employee price. You pay what we pay, not a cent more? I don't think so. You're actually going to pay less and only at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie. Lowest price guarantee. Find new... All right, Jim, we are back here in Central Columbia High School. 61-53, Eli Morrison at the line, shooting two. This is something CI does not want to see as the clock stop and chance for points on the other end. Exactly, exactly what Central Columbia needs. Morrison short. short. They don't box out. By Harris. Harris kicks it back to Zeisloff. Over to Morrison, back to Zeisloff. Back over to Dylan. Dylan has 18 on the game tonight. Nice oh, cut. Cutter. Morrison. Oh, misses the bunny. Can't seem to get it to fall tonight. Good delivery by Dylan Harris. Okay, bad cross court pass. Don't do that. Garrett puts his shoulder down. That might be and it. They're going to call the block. Boy. That was close. Aiden's got to be more conscious of four fouls there. Putting his head down. There's no need for that. They got eight points, eight point lead. It's enough to win. Just don't want to make that crucial mistake. Reese going backwards the ball. Siraj sets the screen. Played a little game, a twister there. Nice cut. Wow. Adris all the way like lightning to the basket. Good job by Jensen delivering the basketball. Ten point lead for the Lancers under one minute. Over to Bradley. Bradley trapped in the baseline. Swings it hard. Up ahead to Gare. Aiden on Garrett. the run out. Strong to the basket. Lays and it up puts and it in. in. Lancer's finishing strong here, Paul. Up by 12. We're under a minute to play. And Loyal Sock is 36 seconds away from a 10-0 start. Good hustle by Adris. Got up to got the rebound. Got knocked away and then he threw it off Bradley, I believe. For Dylan Harris. That was Harris, yep. 32 seconds to go, 12 point lead. Up ahead to Watkins, Watkins being guarded by Yost. Harris, up ahead to Watkins. Watkins oh, goes. he was looking to throw it down. <laughs> he elevated, did he not? Uh, he got up quick. I wasn't expecting that. I, I didn't he was even gonna have my slam dunk call ready for no. that one. <laughs> no, I wasn't looking for that. Here we go, wins to replay, run out. Goes up, strong. I don't know if he had the elevation anyway. Reese, first one up is good, 66-53. Good job by Reese making his foul shot. Second one on its way and good by Watkins. 67 53. Final 22 here. Yeah, the Lancers open it up. Yost drives up and in. Good job letting him go. He got enough to win, just let it run out. 12 seconds to go, 67 55. Very entertaining ball game. A very good ball game, absolutely. Central, very, very strong team. Loyal Sox showing heart. And there's your horn. It's the final score here from Central Columbia. Loyal Sox 67, Central Columbia Blue Jackets 55. We'll be right back. You pay what we pay, not a cent more? I don't think so. You're actually going to pay less. Hi, it's Adam at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie. It's the Chevy employee discount for everyone until January 2nd. With too many models to list, stop in or check us out online at BlazeAlexanderChevy.com and find out which brand new Chevrolets qualify for less than employee price. You pay what we pay, not a cent more? I don't think so. You're actually going to pay less and only at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie. Lowest price guaranteed. Find new roads.
Your family table away from home is Dolly's Diner, now with three great locations. The original Dolly's Loyal Sock behind Rita's off the Golden Strip. Dolly's Mentorsville, where Dolly met Griggs. And now the new Dolly's Park Avenue, Williamsport, formerly Donna's Restaurant. With those amazing breakfasts, daily and chef specials, sticky buns, and more, and Griggs Coffee and Peanuts. Don't miss it. Dolly's Diner, your family table away from home, covering the Williamsport area. I welcome back here on webweeklylive.com, Hoopers Only TV. Jim, Loyal Sock is now 10-0 on the season. A very gritty win, a 67-55 win over a very strong Central Columbia team. And the best part is they get to play again. And at 12 point, it ended up a lot more than it really was. That was a great ball game right down the stretch. And then the Lancers made a couple plays and opened it up at the end. Yeah, and they were led unofficially. I got some stats here. Aiden Gare. 28 points for the Assassin. Um, also, Reese Watkins chipped in with 14 that I have him unofficially for. He might have had a few buckets that we didn't call her. So we don't have a stat man up here, Jim. We're just doing it like rock up with that abacus sliding <laughs> it over there. A the little coin. So what, do you, what do you got for the Blue Jays? For Central Columbia, Dylan Harris led them with 18. Patrick Yost had 10. And D Dylan Harris played a really nice yeah, ball real, game. Yeah, real strong guard play. Um, in, in Central, I mean, I can't wait till they play Loyal Sock again. I hope we have that game. Good good matchup. Very evenly matched up. Big guys inside, guard play outside. And, and quite honestly, that one little stretch here in the fourth quarter, that did, did Central in. So. Yeah, that was, that was the separation in the ball game. Like I said, it was basically even. There was a game of runs. Loyal Sock at the end came out holding their head high. 67-55, it's a final. Game of Runs brought to you by Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, we will see you guys at Newman on Sunday. We have oh, a wow. Sunday matinee, Sunday fun day. The Newman Golden Knights taking on the Loyal Sock Lancers. That should be an interesting game with the football crossover. You got some teammates. You got young Davion Hill, David Hill. Mr. So, so, Mr. So on that li team. Little mass, little communion, little breakfast at Dolly's, and then we go we'll go watch a great basketball that, game. That sounds good to me, Jim. You know I'll be down. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. WebWeeklyLive.com, Hoopers Only TV for Jim Webb. I'm Paul Bow. We'll see you all Sunday down at Newman. Good night, everybody.